So Robin, how do you have the confidence and the courage to say, hey, like you say, I'm disabled, or I, you know, yeah. I go up there and say, I'm a bigger woman, whatever. Yeah. When we're out dating, it takes a lot of courage to say, I'm worthy, despite yes. what society views often as a flaw. Exactly. Um, I, it took me a long time to get to that journey. Mm -hmm. um, when so, it comes sorry, to this yeah. is Robin Wilson BD from Hi. at Sex Able yeah. at Twitter, yes. and I'm Kathy virtually at theintimacydojo.com. I wanted to love to know who you were. Oh yes, hi, because you know I just feel so comfortable with y'all, and I just want to just get right to it. <laughs> anyway, um, so when it comes to expressing um, things that you know that people have discriminated against in the past or whatever or present, or what, you know, but um, I want, you know, I, my experience is, you know, I am, you know, I am a, a person of color, mm -hmm. and so that was, you know, my first, you know, thing that I had to navigate when it came to dating, because when it comes to dating, you, you want to find somebody that you mesh with that share similar interests mm -hmm. and things like that um and some t but so i learned to navigate that as a black woman and as a person of size mm -hmm. um because um i was a hundred pounds bigger than what i am now mm -hmm. um and so navigating that the all navigating those things um helped teach me about disability mm -hmm. um, and navigating that so I had for me I had the years of experience of learning to navigate other otherness so for me disability was like oh okay another, I I, another <laughs> otherness so for someone especially but what I really would I'd like, I'd like to talk about um, because I've, I've realized something that there's a niche that people need to really talk about how about dating when you acquire a disability? Like, because you're in a whole different mindset. Yeah. Because when you acquire a disability... You had a car accident? Um, no, no. I, um, a rare birth defect um, was found in my spinal cord. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, basically, I was having an aneurysm in my spinal cord. Wow. Um, yeah, it's extraordinarily rare. It's a spinal ADM. And I was pregnant with my daughter mm -hmm. at the same time. So, yeah that was 2004 was not the it was like i was like well, you're in heaven and hell because i got my baby but you know i did a whole bunch of shit the medical world was like no you're not supposed to do that but i did it and whatever and i'm here um we're glad you're here yes which is probably why i am you know but yeah. you know but it's helped but it, i feel like i'm i'm really happy because it helped give me perspective like so it took me a while to get to the mindset, and the only way I got to the mindset of, I will be point blank, is therapy. Mm -hmm. Is that is how I got to um, the place of, hey, I'm, I'm, you know, getting confident yeah, about who I, think, I am. And, if you're struggling and you don't, and I was struggling. Do it, yeah. I was really struggling because, you know, I used to pride myself on my, you know, like how I attracted men or whatever, but I, I used to pride myself on things like my walk, like how I could twitch my hips or mm -hmm. whatever. And, you know, and then now, you know, with spinal cord, I'm like, I ain't twitching shit, except for involuntarily. But, <laughs> 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 sorry. No, I, I, I think it's so important to talk about because yeah. one of the things I was, as a bigger person, I always thought that everyone else was okay yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I realized, like, when I started sharing about the fears and feelings I had, yeah. I realized that there's people with the size two and, like, conventionally perfect body yeah. that have the same fears. We all have the same... Exactly. And some of us get hit harder with societal pressure. Yeah. But we're all in our heads going, oh, I'm not good enough or I'm not enough. And getting to the point where you feel like, I am worthy and I deserve to be treated well, it, it's uh, a journey. Yes, exactly. Um, and it's baby steps, so saying, no, I will not take this. And yes. therapy or coaching can be a big part of that. Huge, huge. And I, I feel like there's so much stigma against, you know, getting help mm -hmm. for those things. And I'm like, why Why would you deny your 
so and then I understand though sometimes you know those there's resources aren't readily available mm-hmm. um and you know but that's but that's one thing with society but if you have access to the resources of therapy or group therapy or you know you know uh please take advantage of those mm-hmm. because I've learned that and also I for me when it came to dating which is how I met my fiance um was through going out to uh events yeah. like joining I you know meetup.com you mm-hmm. know and I I joined a goth vampire group because you know <laughs> why, not? why not you know there's a shit out there but you know because I'm interested in that kind of thing because I'm a yeah. girl and I like I like the dark and creepy shit so um but yeah but I keep it, getting out there but you, it's, it's getting out there and so I when I met my myself part, to have confidence to get out there versus getting out there yeah and sometimes confidence there. yeah that and I had to do that and you know just like okay how am I gonna meet people and feel confident but not like feel like I'm like trying to get on the meat market of like hey I'm trying to date come here come yeah. at me bro you know <laughs> whatever but no um I don't know I, that's just I think part of it's just being uncomfortable yeah but doing it in small doses not like you said not necessarily going out and going I want to have a husband or a partner or whatever it's like mm-hmm. I'm going to go out and practice being around other people, people and just like yeah building up my confidence and just like socializing and just getting to be me and you mm-hmm. know and getting to connect yeah and um and I knew that some of those people that were out there there were people out there looking to do the same thing and they were part of those groups yeah you know and there are all kinds of different and there was and you know and a lot of time and joining the groups based on genuine interest mm-hmm. like yeah do um, what you want what, to do anyway what, and... do what you want to do anyway like I was interested in the world joined like an international meetup you right. know so I could meet people from around the world because I do I you know I want to talk to everybody from everywhere yeah so um, well, then if you meet someone that you have yeah. common interests to. Exactly. And so you found find somebody that you guys gel and you bond over yeah. something. And, you know, you like, like, and you, and so that's what, what, what made it, and you know, and you get to have it, you can find a genuine connection. And like, yeah. is that person sees you. Yeah. Yeah. It's about practicing. And I used to think that someday, someday, some, suddenly I would have confidence and it'd be easy mm-hmm. and it, it's not how it worked I never got more confident staying alone at home yeah. when I started going out and facing my discomfort yeah I'm like okay I'm gonna stay for an hour and talk to three people exactly like setting goals that's really what worked for me so I really appreciate you sharing please leave comments below we'd love to know what you think congratulations on taking this time for yourself and learning these things if you'd like to follow more of this You can subscribe to my channel here, social media is up here, and there's more videos of this type here. See you soon.